What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another Gun Guide. This is a series where I go into great detail with all of the stats of every one of the weapons in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the final pistol, and this is the Cap 45. Now, the Cap 45 is fully automatic, and it has a damage profile of 28, 23, 21, 18. This means in core game modes, it's always going to be a 6 to 9 shot kill. Our base rate of fire is 790 rounds per minute, which is quite fast. However, with rapid fire, we can bump that up to 855 rounds per minute. And with the rapid fire 2 attachment, we can bump it all the way up to 915 rounds per minute. Our statistical minimum time to kill without any attachments is going to be 380 milliseconds in the 6 shot kill range. And then it'll drop all the way off to 608 milliseconds in the 9 shot kill range. So right up close, this does have a pretty decent time to kill for a secondary, but once you start stretching that range out, it's not very good at all. When we start adding attachments like rapid fire or high caliber to this, we can reduce our statistical minimum time to kill down to about 300 milliseconds up close and 530 milliseconds at the longer ranges. As for the Cap 45 against people that are using armor, it's not very good in this area. It's going to take you one extra shot to kill an armor user from 0 to 8 meters. But beyond 8 meters, it's going to take you two extra shots to kill. So at really long ranges, it'll take you up to 11 shots to get a kill on an armor user. That is unless you're using the FMJ attachment, which will completely nullify that armor. This brings us to our ranges, and as you can see here, our 6 shot kill range is quite short at just 8 meters. So this gun is really designed for super close range situations. As for our 7 shot kill range, this extends out to roughly 15 meters, 8 shot kill range is roughly 18 to 19 meters, and then after that it's going to be a 9 shot kill. So it does drop off to that 9 shot kill fairly early on, and therefore you definitely want to be playing as close as possible with this gun. As for hardcore, as you can see here, we've got a terrible 1 shot kill potential at just 8 meters. Anything beyond 8 meters is going to be a 2 shot kill. For headshots, we get a standard headshot multiplier of 1.1, giving us a headshot damage profile of 30, 25, 23, 19. What this means is while there are situations where if you hit every single bullet to the head, it will reduce the number of shots it takes to kill, when you factor in the recoil of this gun, that's simply not practical, and therefore without high caliber, headshots are generally not worth going for. However, with the high caliber attachment, we get a headshot multiplier of 1.4, which takes our headshot damage profile to a 39, 32, 29, 25. And with this, one single headshot mixed in with body shots will always be helping you, with the one exception being your 7 shot kill range. In the standard 7 shot kill range, you do have to land 2 headshots in order for it to be a 6 shot kill. This brings us to hip fire, and as you can see here, the Cap 45 is the second best in the pistol category, and it does have a pretty good hip fire spread. So right up close, absolutely nothing wrong with hip firing. As for our idle sway, as you can see here, it's pretty much standard for the pistol category, and that's to say that it's pretty good in the idle sway department. It's got a little bit of idle sway, but it's very slow moving, and therefore you've got some great first shot accuracy with the Cap 45. Getting into recoil, the Cap 45 definitely does have some noticeable recoil. It tends to kick upwards and to the right, and then it starts to drift over to the left. If you want to reduce that by a noticeable amount, you can use the grip attachment, which, as you can see there, does definitely help with your recoil. I also wanted to show you guys the recoil pattern with Rapid Fire 1, which realistically is pretty similar to the recoil pattern without any attachments at all, so it doesn't really add too much recoil. And then we also have the recoil pattern with Rapid Fire 2, which once again, I was quite surprised to see, it doesn't seem to add too much recoil to this. Maybe a little bit, but not to a super noticeable extent. Our magazine capacity with the Cap 45 is actually quite impressive at 20 rounds with 60 total starting ammo, and we can increase that even more all the way up to 30 rounds with 90 total starting ammo if we're using the hybrid mag attachment. Our reload add time is quite good at just 1.27 seconds, but we can make that faster by using the hybrid mag as well as the fast mag attachment. And with hybrid mag, that will drop down to 0.88 seconds, and then finally with the fast mag attachments, it will drop it all the way down to 0.77 seconds. Now, just in case you were curious, if you combine fast mags with hybrid mags, what will happen is you get the magazine capacity of the hybrid mag, as well as the reload time of the fast mag attachment. So you will technically reload very slightly faster if you're combining both of these attachments, but I would never really recommend that because it's hard to tell the difference between the reload time of the fast mag and the hybrid mag. Moving on to handling and mobility, our aimed out sight time with the Cap 45 is 160 milliseconds, which is pretty standard for the pistol category. We don't have the option to use quick draw though. Our sprint out time is also standard for pistols at 200 milliseconds, but with the gung-ho perk, we can reduce that down to 125 milliseconds. Our movement speed is standard for pistols at 100%, and same thing goes with our aim down sight straight speed, also standard for pistols at 84%, which is insanely fast. But if you want to take that even faster, we can use the stock attachment, which will bump this up to 100%. 
So that pretty much wraps it up for all of the important stats of the Cap 45. Now let's get into my recommended attachments before we get into a couple great example classes I have with this gun. When it comes to optics, the only option that we have is the reflex sights, which just like with pretty much all of the pistols, I feel like the iron sights are just fine on the Cap 45. There's nothing wrong with them whatsoever. But if I happen to have that extra class point available, then I will often throw on a reflex sight just because why not? As for the other attachments, if you're playing in core game modes, the rapid fire attachments are really nice if you want to reduce your time to kill and really be able to challenge a lot of the primary weapons really effectively up close. But I would never recommend using those in hardcore. As for fast mags versus hybrid mags, I would always choose hybrid mags over fast mags assuming I have it unlocked, simply because you get a really similar reload time and hybrid mags has the added benefit of a larger magazine. FMJ is not a bad choice on the Cap 45, especially if you're using this as a primary weapon just because it doesn't really do too well against armor users unless it has this attachment. High Caliber is great to have in core game modes, especially if you're going for those headshot challenges, so I would definitely recommend that, but not so much in hardcore. Grip is something that's also nice to use in some situations, but at the same time, if you look at the effective ranges of this gun, you should be keeping yourself up close anyways, and therefore if you're playing to the strengths of this gun, grip isn't really necessary. And this just leaves us with the stock attachment, which I feel is completely unnecessary on this gun. I think the aim down sight straight speed is just fine without the stock attachment, and therefore I generally don't waste a point on it. So now let's get into a couple great example classes I have for you guys if you want to use the Cap 45 as a primary weapon. This first one is designed for core game modes, and this is all about rate of fire. With this, we're using both of the rapid fire attachments, and since we burn through magazines so quickly while doing this, we definitely want hybrid mags on there as well. And we also put a reflex sight on here, mainly just because we had an extra point by the end of the class. Our gear is going to be stim shot, our equipment is special issue, we've got scavenger for perk 1, gung ho for perk 2, and finally dead silence for perk 3. This thing is like a mini Spitfire. You can run around with this and do quite well. Treat it like an SMG, because with that magazine capacity with hybrid mags, it basically is an SMG. As for our next class, once again, this one is designed more so for core game modes, and I like using this particular class setup if I'm actively going for headshots with the Cap 45. So with this, once again, we've got that reflex sight, mainly just because it was an extra point we had at the end of the class. We've got hybrid mag, which will often allow us to deal with multiple enemies, high caliber because we are going to be actively aiming for the head, and also the grip attachment just to help us a little bit with that precision while trying to get those headshots. Our gear is once again going to be stim shot. I just really like using that in core game modes, especially with a more aggressive class setup like this one. Equipment is special issue, and our perks are actually the same as the last class. We've got scavenger because you will burn through ammo fairly quickly with this setup. Gung ho so we can minimize our sprint out time, and finally dead silence because I always use dead silence. And this just leaves us with one more class setup, and this one's designed more so for hardcore modes, although I will say out of all of the pistols, I really don't like using this in hardcore, simply because its one-shot kill potential is so short. But if you are going to be using this in hardcore, this is the class setup that I would use. We've got a reflex sight, FMJ, just in case we run into those body armor users, the grip attachment, which helps us with our precision so we can land those two bullets at those mid to somewhat longer ranges more effectively, body armor so we can often soak up a shot from people which will allow us to stay alive longer and win a few more gunfights, special issue equipment, scavenger, gung-ho, dead silence, basically what I use on most of my classes, but we also rounded this out with the team link perk, which is very, very important for hardcore modes because if you can see where your teammates are, that helps you find out where the enemies are going to be. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide on the Cap 45 pistol. As with every episode, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this gun? Do you think it's a really good secondary, bad secondary, somewhere in between? For me personally, like I said earlier, this thing in core game modes is like a mini SMG. It's not quite as good as some of the other SMGs out there, but considering it's a secondary weapon, you can absolutely dominate with this gun if you treat it right and you make sure you challenge your gunfights up close. I also think it is a good thing that this gun isn't too powerful in hardcore. It may have seemed like I wanted it to be more powerful, but that's not the case at all because it does have the excellent handling of a pistol and it is fully automatic. So if it did have a really good one-shot kill range in hardcore, then it would be completely overpowered. So I think it's balanced nicely for hardcore modes and it's a great gun to use in core modes. Now, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I've now covered everything that we currently have in the game aside from the shotguns, which I will be getting to eventually, but they're a lot harder to do hand testing on. I will leave a link to the playlist down below, and also next week we're getting the big update, and with this we get a new operation, which means most likely new weapons. So I will have some gun guides on those new weapons as soon as I can possibly get to them next week. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.